Hey guys, it's Mode here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 Stadia tweaks of this week. Before I start this video, please make sure to hit that like, like button down below and subscribe, as I'm making these top 10 Stadia tweaks videos every week. And I apologize for sounding a little weird. I just got braces on a couple days ago, so I'm still adjusting to it. But other than that, let's get right into the video. The first tweak I'm going to show you guys is called Alkaline. Alkaline is a very popular tweak, and if you have jailbroken before, you've probably already heard of this tweak. Alkaline lets you change the way your battery is displayed on your status bar. There are many different themes, and it's very easy to change by quickly respringing. And you can even make your own uh, type of theme for it if you would like. It's kind of complicated, but you can do it. And you can see right now I'm using Habisha. The second tweak is Blord, a very simple tweak. Blord gives you your keyboard a dark effect just like the way it looks in Spotlight Search. Personally, I really dig the dark keyboard and I really wish they had included it as an additional setting in the stock iOS 8 configuration. This should be something that is already integrated in iOS 8 as I already said, but it's unfortunately not. The third tweak on my list is Zeppelin, and this is probably the first tweak every person should download after they jailbreak. Zeppelin lets you change your carrier sign. Mine before was AT&T, but I have nothing there and I really like it giving it a minimal look. But there are many other ways you can change it to transformers, car signs, anything you like. And for this as well, you can create your own theme and your own little sign. So if you have a logo for your company, you can adjust it and you can put it right there. So if I wanted to, I could put the Hex Technology logo up on top by where it says AT&T. The fourth tweak is device specified. This will only work if you have a Touch ID enabled device. This tweak is called Locklift. Locklift just gives you a very cool animation while you unlock your phone while using your fingerprint. There are many different settings such as speeding up the animations or having a sound effect while playing. I personally do really like this but I think I'll be uninstalling it soon because I feel like it's slowing down the process of even unlocking my finger with the sped up animations. One thing that I was very jealous of about the iPhone 6 Plus was in messages. When you first open it, it would show your contacts pictures. And something that I really like to do is put the most embarrassing pictures of my friends as their contact picture. This tweet, Convo Pics, lets me do this. And it's just really funny because when I open it up, people are like, oh my god, look at those hilarious pictures. And just really funny. And if you have group, if you have a group convo, you can see who's in it if you, if you remember those pictures or anything like that, really. When you're jailbroken, you have a lot to do, a lot of respringing to do to put those uh, put those new settings or tweaks into um, use. Power tap is really convenient because when you hold the power button, you can get three more options. If you tap it once, you can reboot. If you tap it another time, you can respring it, which I think this should be the first one because respringing is more important than rebooting. Last time, you can get into you can put your phone into safe mode, which disables all Cydia tweaks. This is something that's very useful for me, and I really do recommend that. This is the first like first tweak in general that you download because respringing or rebooting in general is a pretty important part uh, to when you have uh, a jailbroken device. The next app or tweak is called App Color Close. This is a pretty minimal tweak. When you go into jiggle mode to delete an app or move it into a different page, the X that's on the app changes the changes color so it's usually clear but now it can uh, it matches the color of the app and you can change the tint effect or the opacity as I as you can call it the next week is called swipe selection it's a very convenient tweak instead of having to use the ugly magnifier to make a correction through your text all you have to do is simply scrub your uh, your finger across your keyboard to change the text or delete or whatever you want to do with your text. Personally, I think this is something that's much more useful than the magnifier because the magnifier does take a little a couple seconds to put um, put into use, but swipe selection is very um, constant and it works really well. My ninth week I'm going to be telling you guys on my list is called Hide Labels. The name is pretty self-explanatory. It removes the labels of the app and the dock. To be honest, with you, ever since I've enabled this tweak, I, whenever I unlock my phone, I look at my screen for a good 30 sec seconds admiring how sexy it looks without those ugly um, text under that under that app. I mean seriously, just look at how sexy that looks. I love this tweak and I'll probably be using it forever. And something if you don't if you don't want to get rid of your um, labels on your main homepage, you can get rid of them in the dock or uh, center the text or whatever you like. There's a couple different settings and you can check that out when you download it. 
The last trick I'm going to be showing you guys is called Barrel. And if you have ever jailbroken your device since like iOS 4, you can pr you've probably heard of this and that's probably going to be the case that you've heard of this. When your friends ask you what you can do with jailbreak, you can say that you can change the scroll effect and show them these different type of uh, features or ways to scroll your page. Just looks really cool when you're showing it to someone. And the streak has not been for a little uh, for a long time, and it continues to be one of my favorites, no doubt. Well, that's about it. Wraps up for this video. This is my top 10 city tweaks of this week. If you have any suggestions for tweak tweaks I should try out or make a video on, please let leave them in the comment section down below. Once again, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that like button down below. It really helps out the channel. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, peace, guys.